Hello, my name is Brandon, I go by Cinder, and today I'm going to be showing you my flow map creator in Unity. This is completely made in Unity, and it's also a first draft of the editor, and that's why this is just a demo. I'm going to run through the features I have and show them working, and then I'll make another video that shows how I actually did it. You can also download this test package below and try it for yourself, or give feedback on the Unity post I linked in the description. The features that I currently have implemented are a shader that uses a flow map, the ability to create a flow map that flows in an arbitrary direction, creating a flow map that uses depth information to, to determine the actual flow rate, exporting your flow map into your project folder to any size with any amount of blurring you want, and then collision detection for objects on the water layer and detection of terrain intersection. So in order to author any of these flow maps, you mainly just need a plane that has a power of two number of vertices on each side. I used a minimum of 16 by 16 vertexes for my plane. Using a power of two is important because I, I use the vertexes to make a base texture for the flow map, and then you upscale it later to make the, the full final flow map. With this basic plane, you can do custom flow direction, but this will only be based on the target vector X and target vector Y values. First, you need to press play mode and then select the water plane, then adjust the X and Y values and press the match target direction to get the vector lines to point towards the values you enter. If you just want a plane to flow a certain direction, then you can now just press make flow map and one will appear in your assets root folder in a few seconds after Unity finishes processing and importing it. Uh, I already have a, a placeholder one there, so if you actually just double left click on it, it'll open up the fully re-rendered version, even though it won't actually show in the inspector that it's changed. In order to easily get variable flow rates on a flow map, meaning that shallow water has slower flow rates, then you need to actually import some geometry that gives you the kind of flow rates that you want. I made these two small terrain pieces to show some variations. It's important to note that you need to add mesh collider to the terrains you use like this. The first terrain I have just shows that you can have a normal dip as if it was underneath a river and it will reflect on the flow map by having the sort of gradation. To get this geometry to actually make the map and affect the magnitude of the flow lines, then you need to press the Detect Depth button. This makes a map of the geometry for the plane, and then it just affects the flow magnitude of each point. The second plane that I have shows that if you have no geometry underneath the plane, then it just assumes that there is no way that you can see this plane because it's underneath any other surface. And it also demonstrates how much variation you can get in the flow speeds by using this kind of geometry method. Lastly, if you take a game object with collision and put it on the water physics layer, you can place it anywhere on the water plane and press detect water collision, and that will actually change the flow lines based around this, the new object that you added or multiple objects that you add onto the flow plane. Whenever you have the flow maps looking how you want, you just adjust the flow map export settings and press make flow map at the very bottom of the editor. So that's actually it so far. There are two main extensions for the editor that I'm going to be working on in the near future. One is being able to move flow lines individually, that way you can have more custom authorship over sections of the map if, if you're going to be using this for a bigger area or a more complex area. And the next is that I want to make a spline tool that gives a general flow guide for the flow map so you can actually just adjust a spline and it'll affect the flow map as opposed to having to do it with these, these methods that I've laid out so far. So again, if you want to download it or give feedback, there's a download link uh, below and then there's a link to the Unity forum post below. And pretty soon I'll be making a video that actually shows how I actually implemented this. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and later.